In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an animated highlight of text in DaVinci Resolve using Fusion, as in this example here. So without further ado, let's learn. Okay guys, let's get going. So move the item you want to highlight to your main timeline before going to the Fusion tab on the bottom. Here you have your input and your output. So if I just move them down and space them out a bit because we're going to need a lot of room. Add a background above your first input as well as a rectangle. The rectangle is going to be the highlighted section in this animation. So connect your rectangle to the background before resizing this. As you can see, this end and the start of this line, this is what we're going to be highlighting. So I'm going to resize this rectangle over the start of this first line here. Use the width and the height as I'm doing here on the uh, right just to resize it. Once you're happy with the size, connect the background box to your main line there and a merge box will appear in black. So we want to change this. So click on the background and go to the color. I want this in yellow. You'll see this is dark, so just raise uh, the line here to the top so the color appears. Now we also want this to be transparent so we can see the text beneath it. So click on the merge box before going to apply and darken to make this transparent. And that's the first line done. So if we just copy control C and paste control V these lines over here and I'm going to resize this rectangle to match the size of the highlighted section I want on the second line. It's much quicker because it's already got the right height so I just need to get it to the right width. Just there. Okay and once you're happy with the selection that you've highlighted you just need to connect the background to your main input and output line again as you can see here and a second merge box will appear. As you see it's a dark yellow line again so to make this transparent just ensure merge is selected before go on apply and darken and there you have it you have your highlighted line but we want to animate this so we're going to add another couple of rectangles just to cover the highlighted section uh, until we need it in the animation. So if I add the rectangle here for the first line, I'm going to resize this mask to cover the first highlighted line. There we go. Lovely. Once you have that the right size, just connect your second rectangle box to your first merge box. And we're going to add a keyframe now. So ensure the merge box is selected before clicking on your timeline at the point where you want the highlighted text to appear fully. Uh, there we go, select your keyframe. Now go to point zero. So this is the point where you don't want any highlighted section appear. And if I just move this over to the left, this is point zero, so there's no highlighted section. There we go. So that will go from point zero to having your first section highlighted. And we're just going to do the same thing for your second line. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. And again, I just need to resize this second masked rectangle to the size of my second line. So move that across and adjust the width until it covers the whole highlighted section. Okay. Once you're happy with that, just connect your rectangle for your second line to the second merge box. Yeah. Okay. And as you see, it's three times the size. So instead of like 0.20 here, I'm going to make it about 60 because we want this to be about the same animation speed. Ensure the merge box is selected. Select the end point where you want uh, the highlighting to be completed. Select the keyframe. 
and go back to the end of the first highlight, which is around 20 seconds, and scroll this all the way back. Okay, so this is the point when you want the second highlighted section to start. So as you can see from the start, there we go, you have a highlighted section. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what videos you'd like to see next. Until next time, stay curious and never stop learning.